Uh, this is a product review of a Sonovo, yeah, Sonavo uh, HP 30 electric hot plate for cooking, single hot plate burner, uh, 1500 watt uh, max portable hob, cooktop variable temperature controller, tabletop, uh, top hot plate, stainless steel, scratch resistant, silver, uh, single burner, basically. Um, this also comes in a double burner, which I do not have, but I will post a link to this in the description if you're interested in getting the single or the double uh, hot plate. This is a multi-purpose portable plate made by Sonovo. Sonavo presents the newest addition to its range of hot plates, small and light. This hot plate is ideal for student accommodation, office use, camping, parties, RVs, traveling, or as an extra cooking utensil in your kitchen. Because of its convenient size, it can easily be used in confined spaces or in your, in your room too. It's a 1500 watt heating plate. This hot plate is equipped with one heating plate. It's approximately 18 and a half centimeters and 1500 watts of power. It's use, uh, use it for heating sauces, cooking soup, boiling water, cooking pasta, and so on. Note, the hot plate surface around the heating plate heats up when in use. Do not touch the panel directly with your hands. Use gloves for safety. Suitable for all types of cookware. Unlike uh, induction cookers that require a magnetic cooking, uh, cooking pot, this hot plate can be used with any type of cookware in your home, such as aluminum pans, copper pans, cast iron frying pans, and non-magnetic stainless steel pans. Also compared to induction cookers, this hot plate is safe to use and doesn't emit harmful radiation. Durable and easy to clean. This temperature is regulated, uh, the temperature is regulated by a thermostat and the hot plate features an automatic shutdown safety function if it malfunctions to avoid damage or injury. The stainless steel body is easy to clean and durable. Caution, do not use abrasive uh, products when cleaning as this may scratch the, or damage the device. The warranty offered is 30-day hassle-free return policy and a 12-month warranty uh, for you know, replacement. It's a durable hot plate with ETL certification. The single hot plate runs about $35.99 with free shipping. The double hot plate runs about $58.99 with free shipping. So I'll go ahead and open this up and show you what it looks like here. the styrofoam. Alright, this is a pretty impressive design right out of the box. Aside from the styrofoam that's kind of coming apart, not much you can do about that. That's probably from the shipping process. I can get this out of the bag, I'll vacuum up the uh, styrofoam a little later. Take this thing pretty good here. Just have to cut it open. Let me get some scissors. There we go. All right. This comes with uh, their own uh, cleaning pads. So. so Looks like two of them are in here. Take them out and see what they look like. Okay, that's actually just one pad for for cleaning. So that's pretty nice. Get some of the styrofoam out of here. And here's a look at the control panel, off position. Of course, they've got the minimum and the max. So, yeah, pretty nice. 
The uh, underside has a vented surface, uses 120 volts of power, about 1500 watts. This model is an ES3101. It's got rubber feet under it to keep it from sliding on surfaces. And of course the plug, it's about, yeah, about three feet. It's a, not a very long plug, but at the same time you don't really need something too long if you're you know, out camping or whatever, and you got a, uh, you know, if you got an extension cord or inside an RV or a camper, but yet use the standard American style three prong, three prong plug. So what I'll do is probably I'll go to my kitchen, plug this up, and we'll boil some water on it to test it out. All right, so I got the burner set up. I've got a pot of water here. I'll go ahead and and set on the burner and we'll turn it up to max and we shall see how long it takes to boil while waiting for it to heat up we'll go over some of the operating instructions where it says to place the unit on a stable heat resistant surface extend the power cable to make sure it's not in contact with any heat source and insert the plug into the outlet which we've done put a pot on one of the hot plates or on the hot plate and set the required temperature using the temperature dial which is only minimum and maximum and you can kind of assume you know if you want medium medium high or medium low the higher the number or the higher the setting the higher the hot plates temperature while the plate is heating up the heating indicator will light up as well once it turns off the plate is, uh, has reached its set temperature. As soon as the food starts to boil, turn down the temperature dial and keep the food simmering. So in this case we'll just go ahead and simmer the water. I can definitely feel the heat coming from it already. So uh, Again the cleaning instructions always unplug the hot plate and allow it to cool before cleaning. Clean the hot plate floor after use to avoid buildup of residue as this will affect the cooking performance. The surface can be cleaned using a nylon pad and mild liquid soap solution. Never use harsh, abrasive, uh, harsh abrasives or caustic cleaners. The top and bottom of the appliance should be cleaned with uh, washing liquid and sponge. And side notes that they mention, uh, do not touch the hot surface, use handles and hot pads. I guess they're talking about the handles on the sides here because yeah it's actually pretty cool on the side. To protect against electric shock do not place hot plate underwater. That should be a given. Do not operate any appliance with a damaged cord or plug or after the appliance malfunctions or has been damaged in any manner. Do not clean the hot plate with metal scouring pads. Pieces can break off of the pad and touch electrical parts creating a risk of electric shock. This appliance is intended to be used in a household and similar applications such as staff kitchen areas and shops, offices and other working in environments, farmhouses, by uh, clients in hotels, motels and other residential type environments, bed and breakfast environments. Uh, let's see. And yeah, that's pretty much it. All the other instructions are in uh, other languages. So that's pretty much the rundown of the single burner from Sanavo. So the water is definitely starting to get warm. So this is uh, it's actually starting to heat rather quickly. It's definitely faster than a conventional uh, coil top stove. So, it shouldn't be too much longer before it starts to boil the water here.
It's starting to steam already. It's not bad, only about five minutes so far. Starting to bubble on the bottom now. Yeah, bubbling to the surface now. Not bad, probably about seven, eight minutes. Definitely less than ten minutes for it to start boiling a pot of water. Yeah, that's really impressive. I like I like this already. That's pretty fast for a regular 110 outlet plug uh, stove top or cooktop. Yeah, I can definitely see myself using this for a can of soup or something like this. It's definitely, definitely do the job. Heats up just as fast as a regular 220 volt stove. Oh yeah, we're boiling pretty good now. Nice. We've come to a full boil now, so yeah, less than 10 minutes. That's pretty impressive. There you go, there's my open box overview and test of a Sonavo single burner hot plate. I'll provide a link in the description where you can purchase yours on Amazon. And they also again have the double burner version, which looks equally as impressive, but I don't have one to uh, test. Maybe I'll get one in the future and do a follow-up video to this. But there you go, until the next amazing product review. Adios!